Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wild Tech Talks. In the lead up to Mental Health Month this October, we'll be focusing on different areas of mental well-being. So today we're joined by Tani Clark, Chief Operating Officer and Clinical Lead at Listen and Practicing Psychologist. Hi, Tani. Hello, how are you going, Stacey? Oh, I'm good today, thanks. Um, I'm really intrigued by what we are intending to talk to about today. Um, we're going to be talking about lockdown greed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lockdown greed and uh, scarcity and consumerism. <laughs> Wow. Okay. This is super, super interesting. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Off you go. Wonderful. So I guess um, during coronavirus pandemic, we saw people scrabbling for toilet paper, um, last bottle of sanitizer, box of pasta or, or, or cans of beans. Um, there was that fear of the unknown. Um, and I guess that becomes the biggest part that activates the scarcity mindset. So a scarcity mindset is that belief that, um, that there won't be enough. And that really results in fear and stress and anxiety for people. Um, and we all have limited brain power or what we call mental bandwidth um, as a human being. And this can restrict us to only be able to focus on particular amounts of information at once. Um, and when we're in this scarcity mindset, it's really hard for us um, to think beyond that kind of survival mode. Um, and so most of our bandwidth is actually taken up with the task of, of just trying to feel a sense of, of surviving. Um, and scarcity is linked with this difficult emotion of, um, of depression and anxiety, as I said, and, and these in turn can impact our, our thought processes and our behaviour. Um, and people who are anxious and sad, they, they tend to be less patient um, and they value things that are smaller in shorter periods of time so that um, delayed gratification goes out the window um, and we, we, want, we want things fast and quick and uh, essentially this is when this consumerism comes in. Um, so when we're on high alert, um, our habits are, and are abruptly are changed, we instinctually kind of seek sources of pleasure um, to take some of the sting out of you know, this kind of devastating impact and fear that we have from coronavirus. Um, and with the joy of modern technology, we have the ability to consume at the click of a fingertip, even in our PJs. <laughs> so it's, uh, it, it all can happen very, very fast. And I mean, to, while it, 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 it is funny, and I've ca caught myself laughing at myself for the ridiculous things that I've bought, um, but also I guess we have to keep in mind, and it takes a little bit of, um, I think, the uh, putting ourselves down, is that overspending is actually often a reaction to stress and trauma. Mm. And so in times of stress or traumatic events, um, it's a natural reaction to try to consume to comfort ourselves and, and shopping is an easy way to do it. Um, so I guess it's also can be really helpful to learn a little bit about that, you know, this is not just happening during um, this pandemic, that it's actually part of kind of, we, we've seen this in the history of time. Mm. Um, so in past civilization, we saw excess body fat was a symbol of uh, wealth and prosperity. Um, you know, during a time when people were really struggling with food shortages and famine, um, or after like World War II, there was a huge level of consumerism. Um, we found that um, people were spending more, they were consuming more, couples were marrying faster, we were having children at unprecedented rates. Um, you know, and this is, it's part of that, you know, that scarcity mindset and then trying to prosper after. So does that mean we're going to have a, a big increase of... Uh, um, and a lot of us are actually praised when we do this because we're actually contributing to the economy. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it's, it's a, you know, it's a, a part of, of the human behaviour that we've seen through the history of time. So um, while we're evolving over time, um, there are some parts of us that are kind of inherently hardwired as a sense of um, survival. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So in essence, what you're saying is that greed or general overconsumption um, is, is obviously, you know, embedded into, into human nature. But as we all know, this is going to cause problems financially. And I guess at a time when people are probably on a tire budget, um, already probably have some stresses around financial and um, particularly those that are in a lockdown situation and um, this surely perpetuates that cycle of overspending because they're becoming more anxious and more stressed I mean how else might this affect people you know in this sort of lockdown um, situation yeah absolutely as you were saying it becomes this really vicious cycle is that um, you know, it's, uh, what, what is it off the Austin Powers I eat because I'm fat and I'm fat. <laughs> so, like it just goes around in circles kind of thing. It's, you know, it is that, you know, you, you purchase things to relieve some of the pain and some of those purchases actually do just that. Like they're very, yeah. often they're very practical things. Um, you know, they're household things. They modernize our lifestyle. They, um, they are making genuine improvements. They are improving the economy. Um, but then there, there is also what seeps in is this real sense of grief. 
um, mm. and loss in the fact that we've now spent in a time when we have no real assurity or stability around our income. Um, who knows what's around the corner? So um, it does create this quite a vicious, a vicious cycle for us. Yeah. But there so, are some things that we can do. Yeah, I was going to ask you, I was like, oh, sounds a bit like doom and green. Please tell me there's some coping mechanisms uh, that we can, you know, help people look towards. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess a lot of it is around like this is nervous energy that's created. Um, so when we are in that fight, flight, freeze or faint state, there's um, a huge amount of adrenaline that's released into our body. And so there's a lot of energy that needs to be discharged. Yeah. Um, and so distraction and redirection are really the key. Um, okay. And so part of that is... Um, you know, when you want to shop online, you know, get up and do some star jumps instead, do some squats, um, you know, invest in the wealth of your, your body and your health and, yeah. instead. Um, and often if it is physical in nature, it can really help exert and discharge a lot of that really pent up energy. Um, brings a lot of oxygen to your brain as well. And that can help calm your service, a nervous system and help you actually start to think more logically. Mm. Um, and so a lot of it can be around how can you, be aware of the physical sensations in your body that make you when you to be able to name I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I'm about to click the buy button um, <laughs> and instead I'm going to do some star jumps or it might even be um, pre-planned if you can even doing some virtual stuff online so whether it's yoga classes or Pilates classes um, if you are really compulsive um, or you notice that you've got some addictive behaviors that are being triggered um, it may even be um, joining in with like some 12-step programs right. um, to really help um, but deep stretching exercises, booking in some time to have a chat with a friend um, to help really calm and distract yourself is really key. Oh, some great advice there. Um, so as always, we'll, we'll be posting um, an article um, to accompany this video so that you can always have a place to come back to. Um, but I think one really important thing, because this is, you know, um, we've spoken about greed and guilt and grief. Um, if anyone that's watching these videos is affected by any of the topics that we have been discussed, um, what can they do? Uh, so uh, we actually have a, an online platform which provides telehealth. Um, we provide um, both video and phone, um, not so much face-to-face -face in, in this current time, uh, but we've got a website called welisten.com. So we listen as in um, feeling heard, um, but we spell it a little bit differently. So it's www.welisten.com. Um, and we're more than happy to help you find your best fit psychologist. So you've got that um, good therapeutic connection. Um, and we also do bulk billing as well. So there's some free counselling um, there through right. the government if you're eligible with a GP. And I believe that you also personality match all of your patients, yes. right? That's a, yep. incredibly unique. And I think something really important that if you are, you know, struggling with a mental health issue or looking to reach out to someone, if you've got that personal connection, it always just goes that little bit further in, in helping you feel more supported. Awesome. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much yet again for another insightful chat. And um, please check out the full article on LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, the Listen website and YouTube for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll check you next time for another World Tech Talks.